Hey guys, this is a quick recipe for a typical Pakistani chicken and potato curry. It's very easy and I really want you to stay tuned, especially if you are at college or you don't have that much time and you need to cook a meal a day. You're going to fry a little bit of sliced onions in oil just like that. Fry till that's light gold do not burn and in water with salt I'm going to add some potatoes and parboil it. I don't like to brown the onions too much. If you're living abroad you can get fried onions in uh, Indian and Pakistani grocery stores. Remove from oil. In the same oil I'm going to add a teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste or you can chop up ginger and garlic and use slightly more. Okay. In the oil now add three green cardamoms, two black cardamoms, some cloves, a cinnamon stick, bay leaf and a teaspoon of zira. Again saute. The reason I add the garam masala to the oil right now is to flavor the oil. And now I'm going to take one chicken that's cut up into small pieces and bruno it really really well. I'm going to saute this for a good 5 to 6 minutes so that it's not pink on the outside. In the meantime I'm going to blend 6 tomatoes. Okay, that's done and I'm going to be adding 2 teaspoons of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and a teaspoon and a half of salt into this chicken as soon as the water dries and little. If you are a beginner like lots who follow me on Instagram, you have to know that to make Pakistani food you must do know the meat well. So at this point uh, the chicken and the garlic ginger is going to lose its raw smell and then I'm going to add this. Adding this now and I'm going to bruno this very well again before I add the potatoes which are far boiling at the moment. Just look at the color of that. The reason I'm adding far boiled potatoes is in many countries potatoes take a long time to boil. So I'm going to far boil this and then add it to the masala. Mix it really really well so the masala goes into the potatoes. Bruno, bruno, bruno. The oil is about to rise. I'm going to add the tomatoes into this mix. According to my mother, the second you add tomatoes into anything, it stops cooking in the sense that the chicken and the potatoes remain tough if it's not cooked before adding the tomatoes. So that's a tip. Just adding a little over half a cup of water, I'm going to mix this. I'm going to cover this for a little bit. Alright, and now I'm going to add the fried onions. I'm going to crush it with my hand. And time to bruno this one last time. I'm going to raise the fire a little bit and I'm going to wait for the liquid to evaporate just a bit. The oil is somewhat rising to the surface. Making Pakistani food is a labor of love. The reason why it's so delicious is because we have bruno and sauteed the masalas into the proteins that we use. It needs a lot of patience to make good Pakistani food. Adding the water to the amount I desire to make this into a chicken shorba. I'm going to add three green chilies and at this point I'm going to check for salt. If I need to, I should increase the content of salt. Okay, I'm going to cover this and cook this for the last time so that the oil rises. And I want you to see that I've also made a lovely patli dal. And this recipe is up. Very simple. Very few ingredients. I've just added lemon right at the end. And this is done. Guys, this is one of my favorite types of uh, chicken aloo. I make lots of kinds but this is a, a different one to what I posted. However, this is my favorite because of the amount of tomatoes it has and because I lightly um, flavored the oil with uh, zira and other garam masalas. This should be had with naan actually, it's delicious. However, I'm going to be having this with dal chawal and this is going to be my lunch today. Thanks for watching me on If Matt Can Cook making aloo murgi. But before I go, I just wanted to show you I sprinkled some garam masala powder. That there's cut up green chilies and there's coriander and this is going to be my lovely lunch today. Guys, make this real soon.